Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to start working with CSS media queries. Okay, so my plan here is to create a simple mobile layout for phone and tablet that I have pictured on the board behind me. But before doing that, I just want to get used to media queries and designing for different displays. So I've got a web page set up, and there's not much on here, as you can see. In the body of the page, I do have a parent div container, which I'm going to use for everything. Not really necessary. And I've got a headline one that just contains a span. And I'm going to do that because I want to insert some content with CSS based on the different sizes. I do have, and this is important, I have a meta viewport in here. And even though it's not going to factor in too much with what I'm doing in this video, it's a good habit. You want to have this meta viewport uh, in the head section of every page you do from now on, because all the pages you do from now on should be mobile friendly. And this is the initial step. So you want that meta viewport in there, and I'm going to be using an external style sheet. So my styles, I've already set up here with some global styles. And basically, these styles are going to apply to all devices. And now, after I've applied my global styles, I want to go with a mobile-first philosophy and design for my phone styles, which means I need to kind of have a feel for the viewport sizes of phones. Fortunately, there is a website. There are several websites that do this. So here we go. So this is a YesViz, and they've got viewport sizes. I'm not concerned about resolution. I'm looking at viewport sizes. And I can see for watches, there's really nothing that I see above 275. Okay, And if I jump over to phones, I'm looking at viewports again, looking at the width. There's a 375. 360s. Okay. So there's definitely nothing below 360 reasonably. We could even say 350 to be safe. So I'm going to incorporate this into my plan. I'm not going to worry about watches in this, but I will go for phones. So I'm just going to copy a comment markup here. And these are going to be my phone styles. And the way I'm going to write this is at media screen and mid width of, I'll try 350 pixels. And that should take care of any phones out there. So at media screen, screen devices that have a minimum width of 350 pixels. And then I have a set of curly braces. And I'm going to do something pretty simple here. I'm basically just going to take the body of my page and I'll set a background color of yellow green. And I'm going to take that headline that I have, headline which contains a span, and I'll do a before content phone device. And there we go. And that's all I'm going to do. So basically, any device that has a minimum width of 350 pixels is going to have this yellow green background color, and it's going to have the words phone device in the headline. So let's see if, how this is working. And sure enough, there it is. But I know you're thinking, hey, but this is clearly a desktop size. Let me go ahead and turn on my panel for a moment. And this will allow me to kind of resize and see dimensions. And I'm going to go ahead and set my screen to be about 416 pixels. And we can see this is how it would look on a phone. But now that we have this technique down, we can expand this. So I'm going to go ahead and copy all of this. And now I'm going to have my tablet styles. Now for tablets, pretty much anything over uh, seven or 800 pixels is going to be fine. So I'm going to change my min width to 700. And I'll change the background color to uh, sandy brown. And this time it's going to be a tablet device. So basically what's going on is any device with a minimum width of 350 is going to be the phone. But now, any device with a minimum width of 700 is going to be for a tablet. Control S to save, head back to the browser and refresh. And of course, there's my phone width. But as I start to increase my device width, I'm going to get to a point to where it becomes a tablet and I have the different background color. Now it's getting even easier, right? Because you've seen this work. So I can copy all of this information. 
And now I'm going to have my desktop styles. And for this one, I think I'll do a minimum width of 1100 pixels. And I'll change the color again. to a, uh, I think that's like a bluish, dark bluish gray. Desktop device, head back to the browser, refresh. Of course, I'm not at 1100 pixels, so it's still at a tablet. But if I increase my width, finally I'll get to my desktop sizes. And I already did do some styling to max the width of my container out. So you can see now it's gonna be centered. But using this exact same process, you could carry it on and say, well, what if you do want to design for ultra wide screens or for televisions or something like that? Or do you want to start even smaller than 350 and do and design for uh, uh, watches? So that's the basics of CSS media queries. Basically, I'm creating some global styles for all elements, things like root font sizes, font families and stuff. And then I start to design with the mobile first philosophy, meaning I take care of these small devices and anything bigger. And then I start to take care of my tablet devices and anything bigger. And then I go with my desktop devices. So in a, another video, I wanna work on making this responsive layout pictured behind me. Talk to you later.